why the number 150 could save your lawn from fungus and disease, coming up in this video. You've all heard about the different rules of thumb for lawn care. You have the one-third rule, when mowing the lawn, which tells you not to cut off more than one-third of the grass blade at any one time. We've also heard that when the forsythias bloom, it's time to put the pre-emergent down. But there's a rule out there that's even more important to follow. I'm talking about the 150 rule. And this rule is gonna help save your lawn from fungus and disease. After we cover the theory behind the 150 rule, I'm gonna talk about what products you're gonna to need to apply and how to stop fungus for the rest of the season. Like most preventative applications in lawn care, like pre-emergence or grub control, Putting down your fungicide at the perfect time is essential to stopping lawn fungus before it starts. If you apply too early, you wasted your product. If you apply too late, you're gonna be fighting disease for months. You need to start your preventative applications at just the right time. Now that we're into spring, fungus is gonna to start to appear and grow when the air temperatures and humidity level reach a certain point. So with the inconsistent weather, how do we know when to start applying our fungicides? That's where the number 150 is gonna save us. The 150 rule helps us homeowners know when our cool season lawns are more susceptible to disease. This basic guideline is going to help you get ready for putting down your fungicides this year. The 150 rule is really simple. All you need to do is add two numbers together. The first trick is to add the day's highest temperature with the humidity level. And if the total is approaching 150, you're in the caution zone for fungus and disease. Now, if it's above 150, you're in the danger zone for an outbreak. So if my high temperature is 68 and my humidity level is 61, that comes to 129, and I'm gonna be okay for a while. But if the temperature is 77, and the humidity level is 80, I better get my fungicide down because that total is 157, and my lawn is gonna be at risk. The second trick is to add the day's highest temperature with the night's lowest temperature. Again, if the total is getting close to 150, you need to take action with your fungicides. Starting in late April and early May, you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on your 10-day forecast to track when weather conditions start to approach that magic number. Just add the temperature and the humidity, or the day and the night temps. If the total starts getting close to 150, that's gonna give you a good guideline when to start applying your fungicide treatments. The 150 rule gives you a good starting point for your first application of fungicide, but you're gonna need a fungus plan for the entire season to stop disease, not just in the early spring. You'll want to apply a fungicide around every 30 days, or according to the label, during specific times of the year. Fungus will generally break out when the weather becomes a little warmer, usually in the 70s, and the humidity increases. Nighttime temps will also linger probably in the 50s and 60s, so be careful of those warm days and cool nights. Now, what products should you apply to your lawn to fight fungus? You want to be careful and not just throw anything down. If you apply the same fungicides over and over and over again, they become less effective. Rotating products with different active ingredients is going to keep the disease from building up a tolerance or an immunity to any specific chemical. Azoxystrobin and propiconazole are the most popular and readily available fungicides for homeowners. They're found in Scott's disease X and Bayer's BioAdvanced Fungus Control. There's also other fungicides with different active ingredients that are available to homeowners through websites like lawnpropesticide.com and dobyown.com. When using a fungicide, you need to plan on rotating your products. If you use a product with azoxystrobin one month, switch it to a product that uses propiconazole the next. Each of those fungicides are in different fungicide groups, with propiconazole being in group three and azoxystrobin in group 11. You don't want to apply just one group of fungicide over and over again. Switch it up. This helps to prevent the fungus from building up a tolerance to any one type of treatment. If you just use Scott's Disease X with azoxystrobin, there's a chance that the diseases in your lawn could start to become immune to it. Make sure to follow the label and the amounts that it recommends. If you look on the back of fungicides, you're gonna see that the application rates are labeled as preventative and curative. Now those terms do exactly what they sound like they do. They prevent and they cure. When you compare the amount of product necessary to cure or prevent lawn disease, the curative application rate is usually double the preventative. Now fungicide is not cheap, so a little planning and foresight can save you some money and your lawn season. Remember, it's more effective, cheaper, and easier to prevent a fungus outbreak than to cure one. That's why it's so important that you have a plan. You'll also want to take a few minutes and research what a disease outbreak looks like and what common funguses are in your area. Contact or check out your local extension program. They usually have a guide and pictures specific to your region. It can get confusing trying to determine if a lawn problem is disease uh, or grubs, uh, lack of water, or something else. 
takes a little research and practice to consistently diagnose problems in the lawn, so don't give up. There are also a few other good cultural practices that can help you prevent fungus. Keep those more blades sharp. It helps the grass to heal faster so fungus doesn't infect it. Sharp blades will also make the grass look greener. Water deeply just a couple of times a week to get to your inch to inch and a half of irrigation. Water in early morning if possible and avoid watering in the evening or nighttime to avoid the water just sitting on the lawn for all night. Getting a fungus is not the end of your lawn. It's manageable if you know the right steps to take. And remember, read the label of your fungicides and make sure to apply it accordingly and safely. If you find any of this information useful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons.